Uh, but in a cut and do pull, uh, in pictorial representation of the 18th century, this is painting by Shin Yunbo, a famous court painter. So what you are looking at is the do pull. Remember, like the arms are so long that you have to fold it up. So this is how you wear it. It has a lot of uh, folds. So excessive garments, I mean, excessive cloth you carry around with you. And then the cut, it's made of, don't be surprised, made of horse uh, tail hair. So you see what horse is, right? And then imagine the tail, right, the tail. So you get the tail hairs, uh, and then you weave them together like this. And you have to starch it so that it becomes a little bit structured like this. Uh, but so again, it's a thin diaphanous, see-through, and then it's light. But uh, it is so laborious. It takes many, many days to create one. So very expensive. It's almost like a, a European top hat. Does anybody know what European top hat was made of? Like a Abraham Lincoln? You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like a 19th century top hat. Do you know what that is made of? Isn't it felt? You said, yes, Emma. Yes, it's made of uh, felt, animal felt, right? Um, so uh, it has the lustrous, like a shimmering texture and soft. Uh, so you need extra care to take care of it. Uh, and the same, exactly the same, the European uh, top hat, hat, and then the horse hair hat, uh, they both had their own wooden containers. So when you come home, you put it in a wooden container because it's expensive. You don't want to ruin it. Once you ruin it, then very hard to restore. Um, and then, and so um, that is, uh, so if you see here, you can see the examples of men in Dupo. So these two are the highest in their standing. And then uh, when you wear the card, sometimes you can have uh, expensive bees extra layers of bees coming down uh, like this. Um, and then moving up here, do you see this man have a, a long overcoat, but it's it's open slit so that you see his pants and jogori inside. Do you see this? And that is, or if you see here, his side is not completely connected. To pull, it's not going to happen like this, right? But then you see front is open, right? So uh, if you have a little bit of active uh, lifestyle, like a music music instrument player, you would wear, this is a chumchima that you've seen over here, chumchima. So uh, the, the man in the painting, the instrument players, what they wear here is chumchima, this one. And then you can wear, you can put the, the, the string on top of it. Um, so um, it actually shows different social classes. So they are high class called the Yangban. Uh, in Joseon Dynasty, Yangban are the class who had government positions. Uh, and then these musical instruments are more like a chung in. Uh, they are middle class professionals. Painters, they also belong to Jungian class. Uh, or accountants, they belong to the Jungian class. Uh, musicians, Jungian class. And also look at the women. So uh, women, obviously, right next to these men in Dopo, they are professional entertainers called the Jiseng. In Joseon Dynasty, government created a system of uh, female professional entertainers, and their names, the professional name is Kiseng. And it, in a way, a little bit similar to the Japanese system of geisha. But uh, in Korea, some Kiseng people were on the government uh, record. They are appointed. Um, so these women are usually fashion leaders in the 18th century. Um, so they have their jogori rather very short and tight. And then they have that full, full you know, voluminous skirt and then the tight jagori. So that is a popular look in the 
18th century. So what you are looking at in Shin Yun-bok's case is the most popular uh, fashionable people of this time. Um, and you can see the different social classes. So her maids, she also followed the fashion of a tight skirt and voluminous skirt, but her skirt is not beautifully dyed in this lustrous blue. And then she imitated this hairstyle, like making a big bun, but it's not as high as these Kisang's bun. Um, they are enjoying the beautiful springtime. But I have to explain this with a reconstructed garment. So what we are looking at here is more like this. Chogori uh, is short, becomes a little bit you know, shorter soon. Uh, and then the hair, this is the big artificial hair that women wore in the 18th century. So not all of it is your hair. You have some hair, uh, bun, you made a bun, but these are braided hair that you bought from other people's hair and made a really high uh, and big. Um, so in the early Joseon dynasty, this is actually the Shin Saimdang that you are going to work on. Um, 16th century, jacket was very long. It's actually not very different from the Goguryeo or Three Kingdoms war paintings. They didn't have that waistband, but the jacket was loose and long to the waist, right? And then becomes a slightly tighter but still, the, the chogori is long coming to your waist. But if you go to the 18th century, it becomes short to your chest. It's more like an empire state, empire dress, like a line. Um, and then the arms are even tighter, it's narrow, slim. And then if you go to the late 18th century, then it becomes even shorter that if you Put the arms up, then you may, you know, reveal your under skirt area, or sometimes you see that people have a, like a breast exposed. 